Hello YouTube, today we'll make a short video on Mastercam 3D machining tip and our topic today is about the step over in the shallow area when we use the surface finish contour tool and path before I'm talking about it, let's see that Mastercam has provided several types of uh, high speed machining high speed 3D high speed tool path and in my opinion they are really good but in some case uh, we feel that are uh, difficult and complex yeah complex so many want many 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 lovers want to stick with their um, simpler the uh, less complex the traditional finished tool path Like the uh, parallel, the contour, the flow line, and uh, the contour tone path is very popular. Um, give you a um, simple example here. I got a solid, and uh, I want to machine the green surface area. Okay, and we will use the um, Control to embed and see what happened here. Considering that uh, the park has uh, broad cut before, and we just do the finny cut. Okay, we select the uh, control to embed and select right surface. Uh, okay, I select the solid. And I will uh, input some basic parameters, select the tool, and some basic parameter. Select the direction, make transition type. Okay, and make some adjust to the depth cut. As you can see that in the surface finish control to path, master cam use the step down value, not step over like a parallel and or flow line. So what happened? Okay, uh, for example, I input a value of 0.5 millimeter, and let's see what happened. So here's our problem you can see that in the shallow area here 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 yes in the shallow area the step over a significant large large in the steep area like this you can see the step over is nearly equal to the step down but in the shallow area here here the step over the 3D step over is very large, and is, and we um, will not get a, a good surface finish here. So, what is um, the tool to solve this problem? Okay. Then, if we want to avoid this situation. We have some adjust with the parameter. Okay, you can see here we got our option called shallow. Check it and click in the shallow button. Here you can see the control shallow window open, and we got here remove cut from shallow area and add cut to shallow area. What they mean? Just symbol. If you select this option, all the cut uh, in the shallow area will be removed. And if you check this option, Mastercam will automatically add more uh, 
add more cut to the shadow area with this uh, value of step down you can define the, um, the shallow angle by this value okay in this example I input a value of 30 degree and you can see the limiting step over it automatically update uh, based on the the angle you can see if I input 90 and we have limit step over it equal to zero okay you can see this chain when we change the limit angle the limit thing step over chain together what does mean if this uh, the step over is la larger or great greater than this value master cam will use this minimum step down for the shallow area okay for example I input 0 0.1 0 0.1 compared to 0 0.5 0 0.5 in the steep area and in the shallow area we have a new minimum step down equal to 0 0.1 millimeter okay and click ok we click ok and see what happened okay regenerated the toolpath so you can see we have our more constant more constant step over here and you can reduce this value to 0.5 Point zero five, and see what happened. See that? Okay. You can see they have more. The result not so clear. So okay. Let's see it again. And there's another option I want to talk about is the allow portal cut. What's that mean? If you select the allow portal cut, Mastercam will um, generate, uh, we will add uh, cuts only uh, in the shallow area, not to all of the park. Okay. Let me see, I will show you more clear. So you can see here. Yeah, here. This one. Yes, this is a park tool cut. It's not applied to uh, the whole, whole, whole park, just in the shallow area here. This area. That's part of cut, and if you uncheck this, you will see the difference. You see that the add cut will apply for all of the surface, not just uh, in the shallow area. So you can see here. Let's take a look again. To add cut, and see what happened. So you can see that this cut is not applies for all of the error, just for shallow error. And if we don't use portal cut, it will apply for all of the error. So you can see here, okay. So, by using the shallow option, you can control the step over better on the shallow area if you don't use the shallow option.
we we cannot get a good surface finish on shadow error that's what i'm talking about okay let's do um test cut stock setup i will choose this solid um, add a stock and i want to uh, input a minor value to see the result okay in this case we don't use a shallow air shallow option and you can see the tool pad like this uh, I just the step step down to point two point twenty point twenty twenty five okay you can see that let uh make a very far okay let's see let's move the the end of the operation and see the result so you can see that without the um, Mm, shallow option uh, check it this surface is not good okay again now with the um, shallow option check it and you see what happened So you can see the significant change in the server finish is not really good, but uh, it's far better than the previous. Yes, that's our topic today. Thank you for watching, and I'm sorry for my bad English. If you cannot understand what I say, just watch the video. Thank you.